Hello, gorgeous, dazzling soul. Welcome to your March monthly astrology. I'm really looking forward to this March astrology. We have a stellium in Pisces. What does that mean? It means a whole heap of planets are in Pisces, making us emotional, making us intuitive, bringing our wisdom up to the surface. We've also got airy season in March. And as an Aries, I'm really into that. Brings our passion, our desire, our drive, and our energy right to the fore. And in the middle of March, we have every single planet going direct. Fabulous news. No more backwards work. It's onwards to our destination, to follow our dreams, to, make, to dream our dreams and make it all happen. Here's your monthly astrology. Pisces, my wondrous, magical and divine Pisces. It's Pisces season. I personally love Pisces season. And don't forget, we've got Venus, the planet of love in Pisces. So you should be feeling loved. And hopefully that means you love yourself. So whether that's other people loving you or whether you, you've worked on your relationship with yourself and you're, or you're feeling the cosmos loves you, it does. Um, you're just feeling good. And there's also a little surprise conversation. Someone unexpectedly might talk to you about their feelings. That's not necessarily just a lover, although it could be. It just could be a family member. It could be a friend. Just opening up about how fabulous you are. And also, you're very in touch with your magic at the moment. And you're confident about your intuition. All the planets are going direct this month. So we've got a real forward-flowing energy. And you're sort of hopefully swimming in the pond of life in a very positive fashion this month. It's just beautiful. You should have magical experiences, deep connections with other people, deep connections with nature, and sort of magical messages coming your way. Now, Mars, the planet of action, is going into your home and family mode. What does that mean? It means your energy is focused on your home and family. So if there's something you want to change in your house, you're, you're able to put your strength and your focus into doing something physical, because Mars is about action, to make changes in your home and family. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication, is joining forces with Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. And don't forget, um, there's some very positive energy coming for you um, this year, which is extra, 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 extra dash of magic. But anyway, I, I digress. So when Jupiter is saying to you, you know what? Trust your intuition. Now, your intuition might tell you to have a conversation with someone. It might bring something important to you magically, but you're going to have to be the enchantress, the kind of super powered, intuitive being that I truly believe you are. Pick up on the nuances. Pick up on the subtle signs and symbols that are coming your way. Doesn't mean fall falling into a vat of illusion because I've got a lot of Pisces, we can do that. It means really using those skills that you've got to push forward and trust your instincts. When the sun uh, it joins forces with your ruler, Neptune, ooh, you are so powerful on that day, March the 11th. So there's something you've got to do. You're going to know in your heart and soul exactly what to do. And then, of course, we have the new moon in Pisces. How amazing. You've got, it's your, it's your new moon. It's your magical new moon where you can make a wish. It also is your clean slate new beginning. You can put the past behind you. You can reinvent yourself. You can release things that no longer serve you. You can surrender the old and your baggage and leap through into a new, whole new dimension, a whole new energetic, fresh start for you. So that is something to look forward to. And this one is super special because Venus, the planet of love, is joining forces with Neptune on the same day. So can you imagine, imagine even, <laughs> the the intuition, the love, the, the delights? The, it might even, in fact, be quite intense for you, this sort of, your whole heart is opening. And hopefully your heart is opening to loving yourself and going, yes, I'm going to fully support myself in the next level of this journey. Now, on the 15th, Mercury is going into your sign. Woo, it means your words are spells. And also other people love talking to you. You love talking. Uh, you, your ideas are on point and you just have an amazing flow. Basically, fabulousness of Pisces season um, is 
filled with all sorts of wonder and hopefully even potential miracles. It, of course, the energy has to transform and change. And we move into your security zone as the sun and Venus enter Aries uh, on the 20th and the 21st. So then you're like, OK, I've had all this magic. I'm going to ground it. I'm going to build some foundations. But hopefully by then, if you've kind of really done the work, you will feel confident and secure within yourself. And there's some great opportunities there because that's also the position of abundance, drawing abundance to you and also feeling confident and secure within your being. The sun is joining forces with Venus in that area on the 26th. I mean, it's on and on good things, I believe, for you this month. Okay, the full moon is very intense. It's in your primal zone. Life, death, rebirth, obsession, taxes, you know, all of the addictions, all of those things. So a full moon obviously brings us a peak in that energy. So if you start to feel obsessive about someone or something, you, you give your power away, you know, it's the full moon. What can you do about that? Turn the energy, work with the energy to make it uh, about you coming into your power, a peak of your power, trust in your power on that full moon. Anyway, very, very, oh, final thing. Mercury is joining forces with Neptune, your ruler in your sign on March the 30th. Great day to do some magical work, to, to really visualize your future the way that you want it. Visualize wonderful things coming your way. Ask the universe to show you a sign. Uh, just, just know that this whole month, has a golden thread of magic just for you in it and wow you might notice i haven't done a weekly this week it's because i'm finishing my I'm right at the end of the tarot deck project and i'm writing the pamphlet and oh, i've got so many deadlines but hopefully that you've enjoyed this i will be doing your tarot uh, video on monday fingers crossed sending you so much love you magical creature believe in you take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon I'm Martha. I work clairvoyantly and mediumistically. Well, over the telephone, it is different to reading in person. Like my clairaudience and clairsentience is heightened. I usually will ask you what you'd like to focus on. Part of the foundation of the way I work, the more focus, the more clarity you get. My priority is to connect to your truth and through that to help you and guide you to be the best version of yourself you can be and have the best life that you can have. My personal opinion in a reading is completely irrelevant. What you're left with after a reading is more the interpretation of what's being said. It's very important and I work in that foundation to make it sure that you understand the information and the guidance that's given to you before the reading's closed. If they leave the reading seeing just 10% of the magic that I see in them, then I, then I feel I've uh, done my job as a psychic.